Serena Williams is being celebrated for making a run at history in the U.S. Open, aiming to become the first woman in 27 years to complete a calendar Grand Slam. Questions constantly still surround her. Multiple stories have been written fixating on sexism and racism and criticizing her body instead of recognizing her success in tennis. The New York Times, Forbes, Bloomberg have all weighed in. Just yesterday, the Chicago Tribune had an interesting piece on Serena. Another angle that's been addressed of late, her 21 major singles championships equal the rest of the women's field combined, but the 33-year-old isn't the highest paid earner in the women's game. That title belongs to Maria Sharapova, who made $23 million in endorsements compared to Serena's $13 million this past year. That, according to Forbes, I want to get your takes now. Stephen A., is Serena underappreciated? I believe she is. Um, <clears throat> I believe that she is appreciated. I believe that she is respected. But I'll be very, very clear and unapologetic in saying this. If she were white, it would be exponentially bigger and better. This woman has 21 singles majors titles. Uh, we all know Steffi Graf's got, I think it's about 22. Margaret's Court's got the all-time record at 24. Uh, Serena Williams is expected to break that record. Grand, Grand Slam titles, I mean, this woman is absolutely, positively sensational. When you look at what she has accomplished, um, we live in a society that refuses to recognize that disparity from time to time. And whenever you bring that up, people are talking about racism or whatever. No, that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm simply saying that we live in a society where Maria Sharapova, who has lost 17 consecutive times to Serena Williams, gets $10 million more in endorsements than Serena Williams. Well, why would that be? I would love for somebody to try to explain that to me. Now, here's one of the things that where this kind of conversation skip gets tricky. Because when we look at the fact, even though she's, uh, I don't believe she's not American, it doesn't matter. When you look at what Serena Williams has accomplished compared to Maria Sharapova and her dominance over Maria Sharapova, one would surmise that there's no way on earth that Maria Sharapova should earn more money than her on the marketing side, endorsement side, than a Serena Williams. Now, some may argue otherwise, and that's fine, because obviously Maria Sharapova is a very, very beautiful woman. I can assure you, and I can't speak for everybody, but being a black male, born and raised in the streets of New York City, with black folks all the time, because I'm one of them, and that's who I'm usually hanging with, we have absolutely no problem with how Serena Williams looks. I will be the first to tell you. Well, okay, let me be very, very clear. But there is always some kind of comment about her physique, her wardrobe, etc. With all due respect, that ain't coming from us. Now, why is that? I don't know. But I do know that when you look at her success, and what she has accomplished and the level of dominance that she continues to exhibit year after year after year. She should be second to no one in any category when it comes to women's tennis, whether it be on the marketing side or beyond. And the fact that she is second to Maria Sharapova, the fact that people say the things that they have said about her, that they seem to go out of their way to bring attention to things other than her performance. It ain't just about race, it's about sex as well, meaning gender. Yeah, no. Okay? Question. There's more there's more sexism than it is anything else because obviously as a as the sensational article written by Shannon Ryan in the Chicago Tribune points out you don't hear them saying that about athletes, male athletes like LeBron James and others. I mean, shoot, I, I'm talking about LeBron James' physique, meaning that, you know, he's a Goliath and, you know, he's a physical specimen more so than most people are talking about it because I realize that contributes to his greatness as a basketball player, but that's all it is. All I'm saying is, is that you don't hear the same things about men that you are hearing about Serena Williams. And half the time they're talking about it, I would dare say, it's in somewhat of a disrespectful fashion when it comes to talking about Serena Williams, which I've always been opposed to. It's just that we don't talk about tennis. A lot of people are so interested in football. We don't talk about tennis that much. Otherwise, I would have brought this up years ago. Serena Williams is one of the greatest ever. 
I'm talking about on any sport, at any sport, on any level. She's one of the greatest champions we have ever seen. And she don't get in trouble with the law. She don't do anything stupid or anything like that. She is sensational. She is a role model. And on far too many occasions, she has been, she has not been treated with the level of respect that she deserves. By whom? I, I, I don't know whom is. You know, that's my problem with this whole discussion. Sure. Treated by whom? I, I can only speak for me. Sure. You brought up the specter of racism here. So, right? So the white community I said is... sexism more yeah. so than that. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. But you said if she were white. Yeah, well, I do okay. believe that. Okay. Well, I, I again, I, it's just the two or three of us here. Yeah, sure. but, but I can only speak for myself. In my world... The people I know, and in my view, she is not underappreciated. She is strictly appreciated. I've already been having this debate with friends of mine who cover tennis. Because remember, I've done a lot of tennis in my past. I was very close with Martina Navratilova in part because she lived three houses down from me. So she became a friend of mine. So I went through the whole Chrissy Martina era. I went through as they were challenged by Steffi Groff. So I know that pretty well. And I am leaning toward... This woman, Serena, being the all-time greatest, I believe she could have beat on, on her mental toughness and her, her tennis a acumen. A graph of Marvel, then never she, to low she, all those of two. them. Yeah, she could have beaten Billie Jean King, all of them. All of them. Chrissy, she, she just Except could Lloyd, have. absolutely. You know, because she finally figured out, I don't know how many years ago, two, three, four years ago, how to play tennis at the highest level. Mm -hmm. She has high tennis IQ, and she has extreme guts and mental toughness what she did to that bethany maddox sands the other night yeah. she was in trouble for a while yeah. and ernest and i are watching and we couldn't turn it off like wow this is unbelievable she shouldn't have a chance she shouldn't have a chance and all of a sudden serena said no watch this and she's having tr she's in a little bit of a slump with her serve and all of a sudden she just gutsed it up and started ripping aces and the third set is six love like whoosh you are blown off the court. It, it is, and I don't use this word very awesome, uh, often on this show, but she is awesome to behold. Mm -hmm. she, she is a force of tennis nature. Mm -hmm. And I don't care about her physique. I don't care about any of that. I'm just, she can play tennis yeah. at the highest well, supreme well, level. Well, well, and real quick, sure. let me add this. Sure. Listen, I've been watching a lot of tennis. It seems to me like every other ad is Serena. Because those chase ads are just relentless, and she's Gatorade, and she's Beats. Well, and I, I, I would have I would have a rhetorical question as a response to that. Then how is it that okay Maria that was Sharapova, last year? Well, that was yeah, last year. I'd like to do it right now okay, because that's listen, that's fair. that's fair. Maria Sharapova has fallen off the radar. Right. And I looked on YouTube this morning to see what was her last commercial. Well, she had a Porsche commercial that I think was and mostly I guess in what Europe. I'm saying, you skipped six months ago. Seventeen straight losses didn't happen in two years. Seventeen straight losses okay, over I, a I get of time. That. there's been a level of dominance that Serena has been displaying and what I'm saying to you is that this girl these sisters are from Compton mm -hmm. you understand and I'm looking at it from that standpoint and I'm telling you right now I would be I, and listen I'm not talking to you because obviously that's not how you think and that's not who you are. I certainly don't believe that about you either. Nor am I talking about America as a whole, meaning that there's a whole bunch of folks out. I'm telling you right now, she is Serena Williams. Look at the things that that make up the storylines. Look at the manner in which they talk about her. I'm not talking about people associated with the sport of tennis. They obviously revere and respect her because she does an awful lot, an awful lot for the game. She has sold out the U.S. Open better than the men have. Okay, right, so we she, have to, well, wait a minute. She's the biggest draw by right, far of the, the U.S. Big, Open. She's the I want to watch Serena. I'll now, be absolutely. watching tonight. I don't. I don't care that much about Federer or Djokovic. I don't yeah, care but, but that much. I'm saying Seriously. Is that Nobody is talking about tennis because her exploits are undeniable. But the storylines that come associated with her, a reason why Shannon Ryan wrote that article in the Chicago Tribune, the reason why the New York Times wrote what they wrote about her a couple of weeks back, it has a lot to do with the mystique, the reputation, mm -hmm. the imagery of Serena Williams, painted by others then. Serena Williams. Now, y'all might sit up back and you may not, you may say, well, that's just the way it goes. It's not it's not a big deal. I'm telling you whether it's a big deal or not. It's not an accident because when black folks look at Serena Williams, 
We do nothing but revere her and her greatness. But these other stories come from somewhere. It ain't an accident that these things are said about her. It ain't an accident that sexism comes she into play. She responded to them. She had to, some comment basically that yes. I have an athletic figure, curvy figure. I still think I'm beautiful because she was being attacked so much during. during Absolutely. And not only that, but also she doesn't expound on it beyond that because she knows mm -hmm. there's no win in that for her. She has no business doing it. So it's the job of people in my position to sit there mm -hmm. and bring it up when it's okay. apropos and trust me it is apropos Serena Williams is not shown I'm not talking about tennis because there's no denying it but based on her accomplishments if she were someone else or looked differently she would be far more revered did she and talked to her treated that way as she is right now. People, so they so what was the difference in the way the world treated, treated Tiger Woods when he broke through in 1997 well, and, and, and Serena? Well, it's interesting that you bring mm -hmm. that up. I did not want to go there, but since you brought it up, and I thank you for mm -hmm. doing so, by the way, you just You're made welcome. my day. Because here's the thing, Skip. America has come a long way. We've evolved. I don't consider this to be, when, when we talk about America and, and from a complaint perspective, we're talking about things systemically. It's not like you look at like a white person and say, oh, this white person feels this way, that way. That's irresponsible, that's ignorant, anybody got time for that, because you don't judge people like that. But systemically, as we look at our society and the way that it is, there is no doubt that America has a reputation when it comes to black folks who happen to be stars of being, dare I say, more comfortable with some than they are with others. I mean, y'all, other folks outside the black community may have had no problem with Tiger Woods proclaiming that he's not black. You know, he's cannibal Asian or whatever the word was. Co cobbler nation. Can, 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 what was it again? What is it? Cobbler nation. Co cobbler nation, whatever it was. Yes. I can assure you, they ain't a black person in America that didn't have a problem with that. You'd be hard pressed to find one. Uh, it, it affects us very, very differently. And so when you look at him, I, I know for a fact that Magic Johnson is as real as it gets. He's a beautiful, beautiful human being. But when white folks embrace him, that smile, that magnetic mm -hmm. smile, had everything to do with it. Okay. You understand? With him and Bird. Whereas somebody else, and Jordan, you know, ultimately capitulated. When Jordan first came into the league, Jordan was a rough rider wearing warm-up suits, having he gold was. chains around his neck and all of that stuff. The I minute agree. he suited up and changed his image, all of a sudden in America embrace him a bit differently. So you have to understand whether it's subtly or subliminally, what America is saying is it's not just about black, it's about a certain kind of black mm. that we are comfortable with. And Serena Williams, dare I say, doesn't fit that imagery in the eyes of some folks on Madison Avenue. Mm -hmm. And that's why somebody she has smoked 17 straight times still ends up getting more endorsement dollars than her. I'm just saying. Okay. I think that's changing. That's my point. I'm saying it is. Yeah. A, everything's changing. I mean, we change. With the, America continues to get better and better and better. But we're not there mm. yet. And Serena proves it because her greatness should be all we talk about and nothing else. And she's such a role model. As yes, she is. To, and such a strong woman. Yes, she woman. is. The epic matchup between the Williams sisters goes down tonight in prime time. Don't miss all-day coverage of the U.S. Open quarterfinals beginning at noon and continuing at 7 on ESPN and Watch ESPN. Primetime at the Open presented by IBM.